Talking to communities to benefit communities. This Australian speaker has been giving locals a lesson on how to build better neighbourhoods within the city. He's a, a really experienced community development worker that's been um, working in 1,600 communities across the world. Um, he's a bit of a legend in asset-based community development and we just really believe that um, it's important um, for our Dunedin community um, to hear people like um, Peter Kenyon. Dozens of community leaders attended gaining an insight into creating and maintaining a successful society. The event was made possible by members of the Greater Green Island Community Network. They used some of their government funding to get Kenyan's expertise on community engagement. We just really felt that it was important for the rest of the Dunedin community to hear Peter. There's some really amazing projects happening around the city and we just wanted to bring all those people together so that they got to experience um, Peter Kenyon as well. Workshop sessions were focused on asset-based neighbourhood development that involves looking at and building on the strong components already existing within residential areas. Now locals are being encouraged to band together and help one another in times of need. Building strong communities actually means that communities can help themselves, uh, particularly in things like we had the Dunedin floods here and there was a lack of resources in the community. So it would be really good to have community champions that could just rise up when events happen in the city. Local Presbyterian support workers have coordinated their workshop. They're hoping it will lead to residents being more active within their suburbs, resulting in a more inclusive city. Annabelle Dick, 39 Dunedin News.